Welcome to another video tutorial, today we will be discussing how to make a simple direct online starter for the motors. Before starting today's session, please subscribe this channel for more upcoming video tutorials. To make a direct online starter, we need two push buttons. Red normal close contact push button. And green normal open push button. Other things, we need a motor protector breaker, and a three-phase contactor, with 220 volts coil voltage, in this example. And now we are ready, to start wiring for a direct online starter. First we will connect 220 volts power lines, at the input terminals of the two-pole breaker. This supply will be using as, control supply to turn on, the contactor. Next we will connect, control phase wire to the input of the, normal close contact of the red push button. And from output of this normal close contact. We will connect it to the, normal open contact of the green push button. From the output of the normal open contact of the green push button. We will connect it to A1, terminal of the contactor. Which is one end of the coil of the contactor. From A2 the other end of the coil, we will connect a wire to the neutral supply terminal, of the breaker. Now our basic circuit is completed, and let's test it. As soon as we press the green push button, current starts to flow from the control phase wire, through push buttons and reaches the A1 terminal, of the contactor. And through the contactor coil, reaches A2 terminal and flows towards the neutral wire, this completes the circuit and coil gets energized, it will turn on the contactor and motor starts to spin. Now as soon as we release the push button, the current path opens up, and coil de-energizes and it turns off, the contactor. Now, we will make some changes in the wiring, to make a hold on circuit. So that if we press the green push button once, the contactor should stays on, until we press the red push button once. So we'll connect a wire, from the normal close contact red push button, to the normal open auxiliary contact of the contactor. And from the other end of the auxiliary contact. To the A1 coil terminal of the contactor. Let's test the circuit now. As soon as we press the push button, contactor turns on and motor starts to spin. Now, thing to note here is that, once the contactor turned on by pressing the green push button, its normal open auxiliary contact closes. This makes another path for the current to flow, and current starts to flow from red push button, to normal open auxiliary contact, of the contactor. And as this auxiliary contact is now closed, current flows through this contact, and reach A1 terminal, this way contactor get latched on, and now, if we release the green push button, contactor will stay on. Now the only way to turn off the contactor, is to press the red push button, which is normally close push button. Once we press the red push button, its normal close contact opens, thus cuts the power supply to the whole circuit, and the contactor turns off. Next important thing in this circuit, is to interlock control phase wire, with the motor protector normal close auxiliary contact, so that if the motor overloads, and draws more than the rated current, this auxiliary contact opens up, and turns off the contactor, to save the motor windings. We will modify this wiring a little. First remove the control phase going to the red push button, and connect this wire to the auxiliary normal close contact of the motor protector, and from other end of this auxiliary contact back to the red push button contact. Now, if we press the green push button contactor turns on, and motor starts to spin its shaft. If motor overloads and draws more than rated amperes, the breakers trips and its NC contact opens up, and break the path of the current flow, and thus turns off the motor contactor, and saves the motor. So, that's how we can make a direct online starter, and how to make a hold on circuit for the contactor. Please share like and subscribe for more videos till next time, take care and goodbye.